Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome once again to the Daily Bible Reading. As we continue in the book of 2 Samuel, we will be covering chapters 20 through 22 today. So if you have your King James Authorized Version Bible handy with you, the Word of God, the Word of God in the English language, then please turn along with me and we will get started. But first, I would like to greet you as I always do in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. So hope and pray you've trusted him today as your Savior. Amen. All right, so let's get started here in chapter 20. And verse 1 says, <clears throat> excuse me, And there happened to be there a man of Belial, whose name was Sheba, the son of Bitri, a Benjamite. And he blew a trumpet and said, We have no part in David, neither have we inheritance in the son of Jesse. Every man to his tent, O Israel. So every man of Israel went up from after David and followed Sheba, the son of Bitri. But the men of Judah clave unto their king, from Jordan even to Jerusalem. And David came to his house at Jerusalem, and, his, and the king took the ten women, his concubines, whom he had left to keep the house, and put them in ward, and fed them, but went not in unto them. So they were shut up until the day of their death, living in widowhood. <clears throat> then said the king to Amasa, Assemble me, the men of Judah, within three days, <clears throat> excuse me, and be thou here present. So Amasa went to assemble the men of Judah, but he tarried longer than the set time which he had appointed him. And David said to Abishai, Now sh uh, shall Sheba, the son of Bitri, do us more harm than did Absalom. Take thou thy lord's servants, and pursue after him lest he get him fenced cities and escape us. And there went out after him Joab's men, and the uh, Chirithites, and the uh, Pelethites, and all the uh, mighty men. And they went out of Jerusalem to pursue after Sheba, the son of Bitri. When they were at the great stone, which is in Gibeon, Amasa went before them, and Joab's garment, that he had put on was girded unto him, and upon it a girdle with a sword fastened upon his loins in the sheath thereof. And as he went forth, it fell out. <clears throat> and Joab said to Amasa, Art thou in uh, health, my brother? And Joab took Amasa by the beard with the right hand to kiss him. But Amasa took no heed to the sword that was in Joab's hand. So he smote him therewith in the fifth rib, and shed out his bowels to the ground, and struck him not again, and he died. So Joab and Abishai his brother pursued after Sheba the son of Bitri. Mm. And one of Joab's men stood by him and said, He that favoreth Joab, and he that is uh, for David, let him go after Joab. And Amasa wallowed in blood in the midst of the highway. And when the man saw that all the people stood still, he removed Amasa out of the highway into the field and cast a cloth upon him when he saw that everyone that came by him stood still. When he was removed out of the highway, all the people went on after Joab to pursue after Sheba, the son of Bitri. And he went through all the tribes of Israel unto Abel, the, and to the Beth, Bethacha, and, uh, Beth, and all the Berites, or Beth, Beth Meacha, sorry, Beth Meacha, and all the Berites, and they were gathered together and went also after him. And they came and besieged him in Abel of Bethamacha. And they cast up a bank against the city, and it stood in the trench. And all the people that were with Joab battered the wall to throw it down. Then cried a wise woman out of the city, Hear, hear, say, I pray you unto Joab, Come near hither, that I may speak with thee. 
And when he was come near unto her, the woman said, Art thou Joab? And he answered, I am he. Then she said unto him, Hear the words of thine handmaid. And he answered, I do hear. Then she spake, saying, They were wont to speak in old time, saying, They shall surely ask counsel at Abel. And so they ended the matter. I am one of them that are uh, peaceable and faithful in Israel. Thou seekest to destroy a city and a mother in Israel. Why wilt thou swallow up the inheritance of the Lord? And Joab answered and said, Far be it, far be it from me that I should swallow up or destroy. The matter is not, not so, but a man of Mount Ephraim, Sheba, the son of Bichri, by name, hath lifted up his hand against the king, even against David. Deliver him only, and I will depart from the city. And the woman said unto Joab, Behold, his head shall be thrown to thee over the wall. Then the woman went unto all the people in her wisdom, and they cut off the head of Sheba, the son of Bichri, and cast it out to Joab. And he blew a trumpet, and they returned, or they retired from the city, every man to his tent. And Joab returned to Jerusalem unto the king. Now Joab was over all the host of Israel, and Benai, Benai, uh, Benai the son of Jehoiada, was over the Chirithites, and over the Pelethites, and Ad Adoram was over the tribute, and Je Jesa Jehoshaphat, the son of Ahiad, was recorder, and Shiva, the scribe, and Zadok, and Abiathar were the priests, and Ira, also the J uh, Jir Jirite, was a chief ruler about David. <clears throat> Chapter 21 Then there was a famine in the days of David three years, year after year, and David inquired of the Lord, and the Lord answered, It is for Saul and for his bloody house, because he slew the Gibeonites. And the king called the Gibeonites and said unto them, Now the Gibeonites were not of the children of Israel, but of the remnant of the Amorites. And the children of Israel had sworn unto them, and Saul sought to slay them in his zeal to the children of Israel and Judah. Wherefore David said unto the Gibeonites, What shall I do for you, and wherewith shall I make the atonement, that ye may, be, may bless the inheritance of the Lord? And the Gibeonites said unto him, We will have no silver no, nor gold of Saul, nor of his house, neither for us, Shall thou kill any men in Israel? And he said, What ye uh, shall say, that will I do for you. And they answered the king, The man that consumed us, and that devised against us that we should be destroyed from remaining in any of the coasts of Israel, let seven men of his sons be delivered unto us, and we will have them up, or we will hang them up unto the Lord. <clears throat> so, uh, so they said, We will hang them up unto the Lord in Gibeah of Saul, whom the Lord did choose. And the king said, I will give them. But the king spared Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, because of the Lord's oath that was between them, between David and Jonathan, the son of Saul. But the king took the two sons of Rizpah, the daughter of Aiah, whom she bear unto Saul, uh, Am Ammoni, and Mephibosheth, and the five sons of uh, Mishael, the daughter of Saul, whom she brought up uh, from Adriel, the son of Berzilei, the Maholathite. And he delivered them into the hands of the Gibeonites, and they hanged them in the hill before the Lord, and they fell all seven together, and were put to death in the days of harvest, in the first days, in the beginning of barley harvest. And Rizpah, the daughter of Aiah, took sackcloth and spread it for her upon the rock, for the beginning, or from the beginning, excuse me, from the beginning of harvest until water dropped upon them out of heaven, 
and suffered neither the birds of the air to rest on them by day, nor the beasts of the field by night. And it was told David what Rizpah, the daughter of Aiah, the concubine of Saul, had done. And David went and took the bones of Saul and the bones of Jonathan, his son, from the men of Jabesh Gilead, which had stolen them from the street of Bethshan, uh, where the Philistines had hanged them, when the Philistines had slain Saul in Gilboa. And he brought up from thence the bones of Saul and the bones of Jonathan his son, and they gathered the bones of them that were hanged. And the bones of Saul and Jonathan his son buried they in the country of Benjamin in Zil Zillah, in the sepulchre of Kish his father. And they performed all that the king commanded, and after that God was entreated for the land. Moreover, the Philistines had yet war against with again with Israel, and David went down, and his servants with him, and fought against the Philistines, and David waxed faint. And Ishbibinab, uh, Ish -bi Ishbibinab, I guess that's how you say that, uh, which was of the sons of the giant, the weight of whose spear weighed three hundred shekels of brass and weight, he began he being girded with a new sword, thought to have slain David. But Abishai, the son of Zer Zeriah, succored him, and smote the Philistine and killed him. Then the men of David swear unto him, saying, Thou shalt go no more out of with us to battle, that thou quench not the light of Israel. And it came to pass after this, that there was again a battle with the Philistines at Gob. Then Sibichai, uh, the uh, Hushathite, Husha, Husha slew Saph, which was of the sons of the giant. And there was again a battle in Gob with the Philistines, where Elhanan, the son of Jeroagim, Jer a Bethlehemite slew the brother of Goliath, the Gittite, and uh, the staff of whose spear was like a weaver's beam. And there was yet a battle in Gath, where was a man of great stature that had on many hands six fingers, and on uh, every foot six toes, four and twenty in number. And he also was born to the giant. And when he defied Israel... Jonathan, the son of uh, Shimea, the brother of David, slew him. These, uh, yeah, these four were born to the giant of Gath, and fell by the hand of David and by the hand of his servants. Chapter twenty-two, and David, and David spake unto the Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies, and out of the hand of Saul. And he said, The Lord is my rock, and my fortress, and my deliverer, the God of my rock, and him will I trust. He is my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my high tower, and my refuge, my Savior. Thou savest me from violence. I will call on the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. When the waves of death compassed me, the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and I cried to my God, and he did hear my voice out of his temple, and my cry did enter into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations of heaven moved and shook, because he was wroth. There went out a smoke out of his nostrils, and fire out of his mouth, devoured. Uh, coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also, and came down, and darkness was under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub, and did fly. And he was seen upon the wings of the wind. And he made darkness pavilions round about him, dark waters and thick clouds of the sky. Through the brightness before him were coals of fire kindled. The Lord thundered from heaven, 
And the Most High uttered his voice, and he sent out arrows, and scattered them, lightening, and discomfited them. And the channels of the sea appeared, the foundations of the world were discovered, at the buking of the Lord, at the blast of the breath of his nostrils. He sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters, he delivered me from my strong enemy, and from them that hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. Amen. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to his to my to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands hath he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord, and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and as for his statutes, I did not depart from them. I was also upright before him, and have kept myself from mine iniquity. Therefore the Lord hath recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanness in his eye's sight. With the merciful thou wilt show thyself merciful, and with the upright man thou wilt show thyself upright. With the pure thou wilt show thyself pure, and with the froward thou wilt show thyself unsavory, and the afflicted people thou wilt save. But thine eyes are upon the haughty, that thou mayest bring them down. For thou art my lamp, O Lord, and the Lord will lighten my darkness. Amen. Praise the Lord for that. For by thee I have run through a troop. By my God have I leaped over a wall. Amen. <laughs> Always like that verse. <laughs> Interesting verse there. For by thee I have run through a troop. By my God have I leaped over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. Amen. God's way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all them that trust in him. For who is God save the Lord? And who is a rock save our God? God is my strength and power. And he maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet, and settleth me upon my high places. He teacheth my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation, and thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, so that my feet did not slip. I have pursued my enemies, and destroyed them, and turned not again unto, until I have consumed them. And I have consumed them, and wounded them, that they could not arise. Yea, they are fallen under my feet. For thou hast girded me with strength to battle. Them that rose up against me ha hast thou subdued under me. Thou hast also given me the nest necks the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They looked, but there was none to save, even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them as small as the dust of the earth. I did stamp them as the mire of the street, and did spread them abroad. Thou art, thou also hast delivered me from the strivings of my people. Thou hast kept me to be head of the heathen, a people which I knew not shall serve me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. As soon as they hear, they shall be obedient unto me. Strangers shall fade away, and they shall be afraid out of their close places. The Lord liveth, and blessed it be my rock, and exalted be the Lord of the rock of my salvation. It is God that avenges me and that bringeth down the people under me, and that bringeth me forth from mine enemies. Thou also hast lifted me up on high above them that rose up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore I will give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the Brit uh, heathen, and I will sing praises unto thy name. He is the tower of salvation for his king, and showeth mercy to his anointed, Unto David and to his seed for evermore. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good chapter there. 
uh, David's song to the Lord. Praise God. So, that's where we'll wrap it up for today. And Lord, we'll be back tomorrow to read you chapters 23 and 24 as we wrap up 2 Samuel. Amen. So, two more chapters in 2 Samuel, and then we'll be going into 1 Kings. So, hope you'll come back and join me for that tomorrow. And so, we'll wrap it up there for today in our Bible reading. And I encourage you, if you're doing your own Bible reading, please continue to do that and continue to study your Bible and uh, listen to our sermons and uh, get into a topic and uh, just get into the Word of God. Amen. It's good to get in God's Word and study it and read it and pray to God and have Him show you what He'd have you to see. Amen. All right. Well, till next time, this is Brother Scott signing off. So, thank you all for watching and joining and those would be uh, just getting on. You can go back and watch the replay. Amen. And if you have anybody that uh, doesn't have Facebook, well, they can watch these uh, broadcasts on my YouTube page by typing in my name, Scott Messenger, or typing in uh, um, uh, Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting uh, and look it up that way. So, And there's many out there that have done their own broadcasts. Uh, Brother Ed Worth, he does his... Uh, broadcast does a Q&A every Monday night so you can go check those out on replay on his YouTube page or check it out live if you have Facebook um, he does it every Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time so if you want to check that out or if you have any questions for him he'd be happy to answer them him and brother Justin do that every Monday night I know brother Justin is not able to do it with him all the time but he tries to get on there so praise the Lord for that and for all of brother Ed's studying that he's done throughout the years through different books of the Bible, and also you can go check out uh, uh, the Bible Baptist Church page and listen to all sorts of sermons from Brother James and other men from the church, amen, so lots of different preachers out there to get you the word of God, amen, in the truth, hallelujah, all right, well, I will sign off for now, so thanks again for watching, and have a great and wonderful rest of your Saturday, amen, bye-bye for now.